So if you're wondering how will Chandran 3 land at 6 p.m., I have it all detailed for you with this illustration. Let's go across to that. Now, remember, there's the Vikram lander that's named after Vikram Sarabhai. Now, that lander is floating about 30 kilometers above moon. Understand this to what it really means. From 30 kilometers, of course, that distance is going to come closer. We are touching about 25 kilometers for now. But this will be a controlled slowdown. That will reduce the speed because remember, it's the moon's gravity also that's going to attract our lander very fast. And therefore, there will be this controlled slowdown that will slowly and steadily go across. What does that mean? That the lander downward has to then go move on at about 60 meters per second. The lander will have to ensure that control as and when it gets closer to the lunar surface. It's clearly exciting as we explain this to you because that is when the maneuver will come. The Chandrayaan will have to twist slightly in a horizontal position and then align itself to the landing. This is going to be some of those last minutes before 6 p.m. that are going to be most crucial and what perhaps scientists also call the 15 uh, minutes of tension or terror. The lander hovers at about 7.5 kilometer above the moon. It will fix its position. It will check everything, which means the sensors will be calibrated. The moon's surface will be checked if it looks like where it can land at that point. And that is when from this maneuver it will go to a vertical position which will be exactly aligning with the lunar surface, uh, which means about uh, 800 to uh, 1300 meters above the landing spot. The altitude then starts to decrease to 150 meters. And at 6 p.m., or to be specific, four minutes past 6 p.m., the lander will touch down on the moon's surface and Pragyan rover will emerge out of it. That is the moment, of course, we hope that this country is going to stand up and cheer for the ISRO scientists, how they have returned. And we are going to pray that is going to happen. Less than nine hours to go for that moment of touchdown. India is set to conquer the moon's South Pole and Prime Minister Modi, though not here, this time in India, will be tracking virtually from South Africa. He's there for the BRICS summit uh, presently in Johannesburg. He was there in 2019 at ISRO. Uh, when it wasn't the success we had expected, but he was there as someone who's heading this country with the ISRO chief, K. Sivan. They were there shoulder to shoulder to ensure that they're together in that. And by 2023, we have bounced back. We've bounced back ready to touch the lunar surface. So there is clearly this high level of excitement among Indians over the successful landing of Chandrayaan-3. The spacecraft is scheduled to land at 4 minutes past 6 p.m. And the prayers, preparations and excitement are clearly at peak among people. Whether it's school students or whether it's about the ones who are going to be virtually tracking. These are the visuals of uh, Prime Minister Modi who will be tracking the moment live. Fate, science, a billion hopes, and a nation in anticipation. As Chandrayaan 3 gets set for its tryst with the moon, India is on the edge of its seats. From Puja in Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh. To a Yagna in Karnataka's Vijaypura. To Namaz in Lucknow. From Lord Shiva to Hanuman and Allah, from old to young, India's historic mission has brought its people together in praying for its success all hoping for Bikram's safe landing. यहाँ पे हम pray करने आए हैं कि चंद्रयान three अच्छे से safely moon पे land हो जाए. India's historic moment has everyone riveted. Children across schools are aiming for the moon. Others are dressing up like Chandrama. हम लोग इसरो के नए रॉकेट क्राफ्ट चंद्रयान थ्री की को प्रेयर्स देने आए हैं कि वो सक्सेसफुली मून के ऊपर लैंड कर जाए। चंद्रयान थ्री हैज इग्नाइटेड इंडियन माइंस लाइक नेवर बिफोर, फ्रॉम आर्ट 
to song and dance. All are moonstruck. A never before seen celestial collision of science and spirit. With a million prayers and grit, the moon is surely ours. With Akshita Nandagopal in Bengaluru, Bureau Report, India Today.